Shout out to the WTC gang. We the chosen ones. We the chosen ones. We the chosen ones, baby. We almost at 25K subscribers. We the realest. No matter how they describe us, we the realest. We the chosen ones. Ha. And we won and done. What's up, YouTube? Your boy is back with that repeat. Don't you tell me what my God won't do. Because I know what my God will do. Shout out to the WTC family all over the world. Thank you, you two, for this wonderful opportunity. Let me break it down to you. Just disappear. Then go to war against the man in the mirror. And don't look back until you win. I need everybody to share this video. Just disappear. Then go to war against the man in the mirror. And don't come back until you win. I need everybody to share this video because your boy about to break it down. I meant to say don't come back until you win. This is your season to win. But let me tell you something, chosen ones. You got to learn how to disappear because you got too many people riding on you. You got too many people keep calling you, using you. You got too many people only going to hit you up when they need you. But let me tell you something. You got to learn how to disappear and go against the man in the mirror, which is yourself. In order for you to win in this life. In order for you to win in this season. You got to understand that. You got to make sacrifices. Honey, I love you, but I got to put you to the side for a minute. You still my dog, but I got to let you go for a little bit. Understand what I'm saying? We still family, but uh, guess what? I got to do what I got to do to get to that promised land. You have to learn how to just disappear and don't come back until you win. But you got to go against the man in the mirror. We too busy looking at other people and what they got. And they too busy pocket watching us. We have to learn how to disappear and go against the man in the mirror. We have to learn how to go against ourselves because we are our own biggest critic. We are our own biggest, you know, competition. If you really think about it, can nobody do you better than you do yourself. So you got to go in competition with the man against the mirror because when it's all said and done, when God called you into judgment day, he going to ask you, what have you done with your gifts and with your talents for me? What have you done when you was on this earth to give my name to glory? What have you done? We too busy doing things that don't have nothing to do with God. Understand what I'm saying? We too busy hanging out with people that don't have nothing to do with our growth. This is our season to win. And in order for you to win, you got to do it by yourself. I got to keep it real with you. Everybody in competition with you. Everybody want what God has given you. Everybody wishing they can be you. You got to learn how to disappear. It's okay to disappear from people. It's okay to tell people, hey, I'll see you when I see you. I got to get me right. Because everybody doing them. Let's keep it real. Everybody doing them. You ain't getting a text. You ain't getting a phone call. You ain't getting an invite. Because everybody is simply doing them. And it's okay. Now it's time for you to do you. I need everybody to put that in the comments below. And say it is finally time to do me. Let people, you know, invite you. Let people invite you into their world. Or as a matter of fact, let people try to come into your world. This is your world. You are the chosen one. Understand what I'm saying? You don't need nobody to get to that next level. You don't need nobody to get to that bag. All you need is Jesus. All you need, you know, God might send you, some, uh, you know, some few people that's going to really ride with you. But until then, you need to ride this thing by yourself. You need to ride this thing by yourself because God got a plan and God got a vision for you and God not going to, he not going to allow you to manifest it until you get some people out of your life. You got to disappear. You got to get somewhere by yourself and stay focused and stay dedicated on your grind because the minute you slip up, that's it. 
everybody wish out here they can get to the next level like you chosen was. Everybody wish they were chosen. Think about it. Everybody wish they had the anointing. Everybody wish they had the glow. Everybody wish they had the, the spirit of the sermon. Everybody wish that they were just, you just walk into a room and your presence is felt without you saying a word. Everybody wish that they were you. But in order for you to become your full potential self, in order for you to become the next best thing, in order for you to become the next big thing, you got to get by yourself. When you are destined for greatness, you can't ride with everybody. When you are destined for greatness, you can't be homie, don't you know me, with everybody. Because they are not destined for greatness like you. You guys are on a totally different path in life. You guys are on a totally different purpose in life. You guys are on a totally different mission in life. Now I finally know what it means when they say birds of a feather flock together. Really think about it. If you know your worth and you hanging out with people that's not even on your level, let me tell you something. Your worth diminish. Do you know that? Your energy goes low. Your vibrations go low because of the simple fact, guess what? You hanging out a place where, guess what? They stuck in. Now you stuck. Now you hanging out a place where they stuck at. Now you stuck. They miserable. Now you miserable. They got problems. Now, now you got problems. Learn how to be by yourself and thank God for peace. I've been losing friends and finding peace. But that sounds like a fair trade to me. Understand what I'm saying. I need everybody to put that in the comments below and say, I've been losing friends and finding peace. But that sounds like a fair trade to me. I'm not studying nobody because I'm doing me. This is my life. You only got one life to live. Live your life the way you want to live it. Not the way others want you to live it. You know who motivates you. You know who inspires you. You know who pushes you. Think about it. I can see if you go hang out with people and they and they get you to the next level, they pushing you, they making you better. But if you go around people and they not and they not better themselves, what are, what are you doing? You ain't doing nothing but wasting time. So I'm simply here to tell you, just disappear and go against the man in the mirror for a change. Sometimes we gotta look at ourselves and say, you know what? I gotta do this to get to this level. I gotta do that to get to this level. And it's me versus you. It's Jordan versus Jordan, the chosen one. And what a battle that would be. Jordan versus Jordan, the chosen one. I am ready because I got somewhere I gotta be. I'm not worrying about other people being in competition with me because guess what? I'm on a totally different level. I'm growing. I'm not trying to be better than the next person. I want to be the best version of myself. And that's when you know you have defeated all odds. Because yes, the odds are against you because of the simple fact you are destined for greatness. So of course the odds are going to be against you. Look at LeBron James. The odds were against him before he even won his first chip. And now he got four rings. Now he's a billionaire. Opening up schools all over the world. LeBron James. Now about to have his own Las Vegas team. That's greatness. He stood his ground. Shout out to LeBron James. Beautiful family. Carried a legacy. That's greatness within itself. Chasing out the Jordan. People talking about him. But they only got about one, one ring. Even if that. The man got four rings. So every time they talk about him, it's either going to be something negative, which majority of the time is going to be negative instead of positive. He's still King James, no matter what you guys say about him. And no matter if he gets another chip or not, which I'm pretty sure he probably will get a couple more, to be honest with you. And then what you going to say? So I'm here to tell you, chosen ones, just disappear. And go to war against the man in the mirror. Everybody around you want to be Kobe Bryant. Everybody around you want to be Michael Jordan. Everybody around you want to be King James. But don't nobody want to put the work and the, effort and the effort to be these people. You know what you got to do. God gave you your gift. <laughs> God gave you your talent. You guys don't have. Let me tell you something. You be hanging out with people. Y'all got two different talents. That's how do you know they're not aligned with your purpose. 
if you hanging around people and you both got two different gifts and two different talents, what are you doing hanging out? You need to become the best version of yourself. Hang out with yourself. Learn who you are in Christ. And watch you elevate you like never before. Because guess what? These people are going to still be where they at. People are going to still be where they at. Four, five, ten years from now. Twenty years from now. But the question is. Where will you be? I'm talking to the chosen ones. Yes, we are chosen. But guess what? In order for us to sustain our legacy. In order for us to keep being chosen. We got to put the effort in. We got to put the work effort in. We got to be just like King James. Don't let nothing stop you from being King James. And don't let nothing stop you from being the chosen one. He's actually on the cover of uh, the, the Sports Illustrated magazine. I guess when he was really young. I think it was about 18 or 19. And it said the chosen one. So that's proof right there. When you are chosen, you're destined for greatness. Keep going until you reach that. And then once you reach that, keep, keep going. Even higher than that. Don't stop. Don't get complacent because greater is, is, is stored for you. Greater is coming for you. Greater. I need everybody to put that in the comments below and say greater is in store for me. Understand what I'm saying? Just disappear from these Decepticons. Disappear from these people who was not on your level because you got somewhere you got to be. And don't you ever forget the three P, baby. And if you ever need a friend, uh, if you ever need a friend, you already know you got a friend in me. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you already know that you got the best <laughs> motivational speaker. In the whole wide world. In your boy. We the chosen ones. Be blessed.